Hey guys, it's DJ EMP25 from Nerds and Kicks. Uh, here we have an unboxing for the Comic Con box for July 2015. I believe this theme for this month is adventure. Um, not quite sure, but we'll open the box right now and see what's here. Let's see here. Okay, so, all right, here we got the box right here, stand it up a little bit, and first up that we have is the shirt, let me put this down, shirt, oh, that's actually a pretty cool shirt. Shirt looks like this right here, if you guys can see that. You guys can see that, that's actually pretty cool. Um, some of the references I do know a little bit, but other than that, still a pretty cool shirt. Let's put this on the side. Next thing we do have is, oh wow, a Comic-Con exclusive. Um, these are scalers that you could put on your headphones, I believe. Um, right here we have Spider-Man and Iron Man, which is pretty cool. Nice little San Diego Comic Con exclusive there. Next one, we have one of these little mascot danglers. Um, I believe this is Legend of Zelda here. Uh, we'll open this up a little bit later. Uh, just, Or actually, let's open it up right now. See what we got in here. You know what? I actually got scissors to make this easier on my life. Okay, so we have this one right here. I'm not quite familiar with Legend of Zelda, as you can see right there. That was the one we have. Let's see here. And then there were six total that you could collect, um, as you could see on the little paper right here. Okay, that's a little bit cool there. Let's see here. We got a little Adventure Time plushie. Um, not quite sure who this one is. Uh, I'm actually not into Adventure Time, but as you can see here, it is Peppermint Butler. Um, there's three here that you could get. Uh, there was Cinnamon Bun, uh, Gun Gunter, and Peppermint Butler. Uh, we got Peppermint Butler right here. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we got a little chomping dinosaur. Um, that's actually pretty cool. The trigger, you can make the dinosaur bite. Um, nothing really on the back here. But this is pretty cool. I'll open that later. Try that out. <laughs> we did get a DVD, actually. This is kind of funny because uh, this weekend, actually, Ant-Man comes out. So they gave us, I guess, a little DVD called Ant-Boy. Uh, I haven't watched it or anything. Um, I'm not sure if I'll watch it, but uh, maybe I'll give it away or something. We'll see what happens. And then, I believe, yep, uh, pretty much down to the box. Uh, we do have, oh wow, we do have this little cover art piece here. Um, as I can see, it's a little Indiana Jones with a little Darth Vader right there. I'm um, not quite sure if you guys can see that good enough, but that's what it is right there. And on the back, we do have an Ant-Man comic, uh, Ant-Man Larger Than Life. Uh, it's a first edition, I believe. It's a variant, uh, just exclusive for Comic-Con Box. So that's pretty cool as well. I love reading the Ant-Man series so far. Um, it's been pretty good as well. And let's see here. So we do have... Okay, so this is a little info card for this month's Comic-Con box. Uh, as you can see, the box three theme is Adventure. Um, these do come with the things here. It'll show you, like right here is the Adventure Time plush toy. As you can see right there. Next one is the A Dozen Doctors uh, T. 
which is actually a prequel T. And then Marvel Ant-Man variant comic, uh, which is actually pretty cool as well. And then you do have information right here, like the artist for the the art piece that we got was Rob Pryor. Um, and this was the name of it. It was called Vader of the Lost Ark, which was actually a pretty cool piece. Um, and then it also came with... It also came with this CGC Comics, uh, one free regular modern submission. Um, I guess you could use this for any Comic Con you go to. Yeah, you could use this for any Comic Con you go to. Um, here are the last available dates right here. And uh, when you go to these, you could get your comic book graded, I guess. Um, this will actually give you, let's see, yeah, it'll give you a one free submission for it so if you do have any comic books out there that you want to get cgc graded so then maybe resale value is a little bit better um feel free to do that uh take a look at cgc comics online and they'll definitely be able to help you out with that one okay um also on the back of the card i forgot to show you this one if you guys did want to purchase this comic con box uh the next one for box four, which would be in August, is actually the theme here is science. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're going to put in there. Hopefully, it's going to be a little bit better than this one. Um, I did have the first and second boxes. Um, I like this one a little bit better because there's more stuff that I would actually use. Um, in the first one, I know my girlfriend got a lot more of the stuff, especially like the Hello Kitty vinyl um, and the autograph from ian summerhold i don't know if i said his name right or anything i'm not sure who he was or anything but she was excited for it uh the second one wasn't really that great um it did have a couple things i would use uh the shirt especially was pretty cool but this third one was by far for me the best one um just because of the little san diego comic con exclusive uh item right here and then the t-shirt was pretty cool as well uh, thanks again, you guys. Uh, feel free to actually uh, follow our Instagram page. Sorry, I'm actually kind of sick and everything, so bear with me a little bit. Uh, follow our Instagram page, uh, Nerds and Kicks, and hopefully you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.